We're living also what God has done with us. God has adopted us as his children. Sherry L. Fulton of Philadelphia says she knows a thing or two about discrimination. She's a woman of color and a single mother. But I have never known vindictive religious discrimination like this, she wrote in a recent op-ed, and I feel the fresh sting of bias watching my faith publicly derided by Philadelphia's politicians. Sharon L. Fulton is a Christian. Inspired by her faith, she has fostered more than 40 children through Catholic social services over the past 26 years, including one boy, now a man, whom she calls her son. I have devoted my life to opening my home as a safe harbor to children like my son who have endured unspeakable abuse and trauma, Fulton says. But soon, stories like Sharon L. Fulton's could all be coming to an end. As reported by Katie Yoder at Catholic Vote, on Easter Monday, a federal appeals court sided with Philadelphia after the city cut ties with contractors working in foster care who refused to place children with gay couples. The decision directly affects Catholic social services, which stands by the Catholic Church's teaching on traditional marriage. Philadelphia isn't alone, Yoda reports. Just last week, the Beckett Fund, a legal group who represented Sharon L. Fulton and others in Philadelphia, filed another similar lawsuit challenging a settlement by Michigan that demands agencies place children with gay couples. This is part of a larger trend that punishes Catholic organizations' stance on marriage. In New York, Catholic Charities of Buffalo ended its foster and adoption services in 2018 because of its stance on marriage. Catholic Charities affiliates in Illinois closed programs in 2011 because of a new requirement to place children with gay couples in order to receive state money. The year before, in Washington, D.C., Catholic Charities of the Archdiocese of Washington was forced to shutter its adoption and foster care programs because of a new marriage law. Both Catholic Charities in Boston and in San Francisco ended their adoption services because they refused to place children with gay couples in 2006. The United States Conference of Catholic Bishops has recognized this as a growing threat to Catholic organizations. The USCCB website states, Without religious liberty properly understood, all Americans suffer, including the neediest children seeking adoptive and foster families, as well as birth parents who wish to turn to faith-based providers in order to place their children with adoptive parents. For her part, Sharon L. Fulton was heartbroken by her city's abandonment of Catholic social services. The decision came just weeks after the city announced an urgent need for 300 more foster families, as the rosters of children without safe homes continued to swell in the wake of the opioid crisis, she said. Ultimately, she says, this isn't just about the social status of Catholics. The fates of hundreds of children and foster families hang in the balance. This has been an episode of CVTV. Subscribe to CVTV on YouTube, follow us on Facebook and Twitter, and sign up at catholicvote.org loop.